when fish for you, we will be nervous and search for solutions on YouTube. However, for some mild diseases, such as allergy, itch, or fungal infections, simply changing the water, raising the temperature, and adding salt can allow goldfish to recover on their own. As early as the Song Dynasty in China, there were records of fishmen sprinkling a small amount of salt into the boat's hold when transporting live freshwater fish. They found that salting helped reduce losses during transportation. In the 20th century, scholars began to study the effects of salting water on fish osmotic pressure, laying the theoretical foundation for use salts to treat fish disease. The primary purpose of changing water is to improve the basic water quality, reducing the concentration of passengers and harmful substance in the water. This creates a more comfortable environment for the fish to recover. For every one degree increase in water temperature, the fish's metabolic rates increases by about 10%. This enhances the activity of immune cells and accelerates blood circulation, which is beneficial for the recovery of surface wounds. Higher temperatures can also inhabit certain passengers. For example, common diseases like itch and fungal infections are caused by passengers such as Ichisophitiris, Mutifidis, and uh, Saprolinia, which are effectively suppressed in warmer water. The salt concentration we commonly use is 0.3 to 0.5%. Of course, such low concentrations of salt cannot actively kill bacteria. The main purpose of adding salt is to adjust osmotic pressure where fish or other microorganisms are in an environment where the external solution concentration is higher than their body fluid concentration water will gradually seep out of their bodies. That is, I have shown that the body fluid concentration of freshwater fish is usually between 0.3 to 0.5%. In normal breeding conditions, since the fish's body fluid concentration is higher than that of the water, the water will continuously seep into their bodies. They need to constantly excrete water through their kidneys which is why freshwater fish do not drink water, and their kidneys are usually much stronger than those of saltwater fish. When the salt concentration in the water is adjusted to 0.3 to 0.5%, the rate at which water seep to their bodies will significantly slow down or stop, thereby reducing the workload on the kidneys of sick fish. Additionally, some passengers have a body fluid concentration lower than that of salt water. In such an environment, they will dehydrate and die due to water loss. Therefore, while salt cannot actively kill bacteria, it does have an indirect antibacterial effect. Methods of operation 1. Water change Change 20 to 30% of the water at a time. Do not change too much water at once. During the treatment period, you can change a portion of water daily, but ensure the water temperature remains similar. 2. Raising temperature. For example, to treat each, the water temperature should be gradually increased to 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Once all the white spots disappear, the temperature should be slowly brought back to its original level. This method takes advantage of the fact that the causative organism, H. sulfiterius multifilis, is not tolerant of high temperatures. The parasite thrives and reproduces at a water temperature between 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. When the water temperature drops below 10 degrees Celsius or rises above 28 degrees Celsius, the development of the parasite is halted. At around 30 degrees Celsius, the parasite cannot withstand the heat and dies. When heating the water, it is crucial to be cautious. It is recommended to increase the temperature by about 3 degrees per day. 
Do not abruptly raise the temperature to 28 or 30 degrees. Rapid temperature changes can cause discomfort to the fish, leading to other health issues or even death. During the initial heating phase, raise the temperature to 28 degrees first and observe for two days. If the white spots begin to decrease, there is no need to increase the temperature to 30 degrees. Maintain the temperature at 28 degrees until all the white spots are gone. After the white spots have completely disappeared, keep the temperature at 28 degrees for another two days to ensure the effectiveness of the treatment. When lowering the temperature, it is also advisable to do so gradually and not rush the process. 3. Adding salt. The corresponding salt dosage is 3 to 5 grams of salt per liter of water. If there are scarless fish in the tank, it is advisable to start with a lower concentration of salt and observe the fish before considering increasing the concentration. In summary, the core of these three actions is to create an environment conducive to the recovery of sick fish and to activate their own immune capabilities, allowing them to heal on their own. This is similar to how many minor ailments in humans do not require medication and can be resolved by the body's own immune system. Alright, this is all for today's video and I hope it can be helpful. Thank you for watching and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye bye.